what is up? Happy Friday, welcome to Liz Does Cocktails. I'm Liz and let's get to doing. I found a very cute, Pinterestable, adultable jello shot option that I'm gonna show you today. So super easy, you only need a few ingredients and some super pretty edible flowers. First thing with edible flowers though, make sure you know what you're eating. I know it sounds like super simple, but be careful because a lot of flowers look the same and they're not and they're poisonous, so be careful. Second thing, make sure you vigorously shake out whatever you have just in case there's like hidden insects in there. Cause I hate bugs and I would just fall out if I found a bug while I was trying to eat some food. All right, so you're going to want gelatin. Knox has um, a four pack and that's exactly what you need, the exact amount in here. You're gonna need vodka, triple sec, four lemons, edible flowers of your choice. I chose carnations, but only because they're super pretty looking, sugar and water. So to start, you're going to wanna heat your sugar, water, and gelatin over the stove for about 10 to 15 minutes or until all the gelatin and the sugar has um, dissolved. After that, you wanna add all of your lemon juice in there. Remove the jello mix from the heat. Remove it from heat and let it cool. Don't add in your alcohol to that mix until the very end or else the alcohol will evaporate and it's pointless. With the edible flowers, you're going to want to pull this white part off because that white part doesn't taste good. It's super bitter, super disgusting. So the actual part that you're gonna use just looks like that. So after you've added your alcohol to your Jello mix, you're going to want to let that cool a little bit, put it to the side, pick all of your petals that you want to use for um, your Jello shots, and you can either use a pan and cut the pan into slices for your party, or you can do like actual shot glasses. So after you've thrown your petals in to your Jello mix, you're going to want to throw that bad boy into the fridge for at least six hours. It'd be better if you do it overnight. And voila! Your jello and edible flowers. All done, cooled, ready to go. So, when I first made this, I made sure it was super pretty. I like strategically placed all these petals so it looked nice when it would cool and stuff. But of course, it's liquid, so it shifted around in the fridge and ended up looking like this. So, what I've decided to do is just take some extra petals, wash this obviously before, and you can place them on before your party or after you've sliced them. Shot glasses, if it moved around, it totally looked fine. It looked like random and cute. Also, you guys, when I made this, it smelled like ass for some reason. I have no idea why it smelled so bad. It smelled so bad, so I'm really interested to see <laughs> how this is gonna taste. Cause it smells so bad. Like I kept on going back to the fridge, like does it really smell like this? Let's see. So good. I don't know why it smells so bad. It's really good. Yeah. Definitely try it. Make this at home. Comment below. Let me know if when you made it, if it smelled really bad. Cause it smelled really bad for me. Let me know. Subscribe, like, share. I'll see you guys next Friday. Bye.